Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Subrata Sarkar. I'm a mechanical engineer working in manufacturing industry since last 22 years. Today's topic is a little different. It's neither an engineering discussion or a management subject discussion or any scientific or any economical discussion. Today I'm going to discuss the subjects called anthropometry and under this the shape of face, human face. You know, let's get into the subjects. You know, in the, this is a technical subjects or mathematical subjects, the way is uh, specify the human shape uh, and different parts of the face is uh, everywhere. So, I think uh, this is getting very complicated, isn't it? Like a lot of dimension, a lot of parameter, a lot of aspects of the faces. Let's make the subject very easy and interesting for you. I'm sure you know all this simple geometry. This round, square, oval, hexagon, pentagon, rectangle, isn't it? Now the question is, how well do we know ourselves? I'll ask you a single question. What is the shape of your face? Do you know? This question was asked to many people and I'll share the statistics of the public opinion. How people are knowledgeable about their face shape. Sixty percent people say, you know, we never thought of these questions. What is your shape? Uh, shape of your face. Twenty percent say we don't know correctly. We know the question, but we don't know correctly what is our shape of face. Ten percent say yes, we know what is our shape of face. Now, out of ten percent, eight percent says we don't know what to do with this knowledge. Yes, we know our face shape. But what we will do with this knowledge? Now, one person say we know what to do with this knowledge, but not correctly. And only one person people know this question answer, and they know what is the implementation of what they should do with this. You know, there are six types of face shapes actually. You know, one is the oval face shape, where forehead is wider than the chins, and this uh, prominent cheekbones are there and face is you know gracefully uh, tapered uh, towards the chin and there are uh, people Kim K the supermodel she's a uh, oval face shape number two is the round face here this you know this uh, jaw line is wider and widest rather you can the face and length and width of the face is almost uh, same another a uh, supermodel Uma uh, Truman she is uh, have, she's having a round face Third type is long face. You can easily identify it actually this face. You all know this. Uh, she's uh, the most uh, you know this reputed uh, celebrity, Julia Roberts. Uh, she has got long face. The fourth type of face is uh, you know this uh, square face. Here there is a sharp corner the this side the jaw area, so it is a square face. Uh, uh, Demi Moore is a very reputed uh, supermodel. She has got the square face, and another is a heart-shaped face, similar to oval, but the chin is you know pointed. Uh, the example is uh, Naomi Campbell. She is an African supermodel. The sixth type. This type is very rarely seen. This is a heart-shaped face, you know, this demon-shaped face. Sorry, this is there a lot of angle actually. This demon-shaped face, and there is a forehead is very uh, short actually for them and the supermodel Linda she has got this uh, diamond face shape now you may have some question in your mind there is one question the, what is the usefulness of knowing all this face shape we have we didn't know this face shape so many years now, what is the use of knowing this now I'll uh, Say if I keep 100 different type of design of the sunglass or spectacles in front of his frame in front of you and ask to choose which one suit best for you, will you be able to choose? If you don't have the knowledge on the subjects, actually, face shape you cannot, it's not possible. You may think you will you'll try one by one and then, then you will uh, find out which one is the better for you. I'm sure after trying. 20 30 uh, design it will be totally confused which was uh, looking uh, best suited for you you know uh, I, i'll show you some picture here in the picture people are uh, having 
good specs and sunglasses and looking handsome and beautiful. Now, this is not that this is by accident they are looking so. No? There is a standard, these are subjects like physics, chemistry, ma management, engineering subjects. This, there are other subjects actually on this topic which are called anthropometry, another is called cosmetology, is a combination. There is a standard chart for this, like if your face shape is like that, so this type of spectrum is most suitable for you, it's simple. But you have to have the knowledge on the subjects. You know, there are also other things, like I can uh, share some examples. Like if your face shape is like that, your hair, best student hairstyle will be like that. Here I can say in this picture, you know, if your face shape is oval, what you should try and you know, what you shouldn't try. You should try for this type of hairstyle, you should not try for this type of hairstyle. And if your face is, you know, your round face, you shouldn't do parting or the center, rather you should, you should have your hair on, on the fuller on the sides, so that will look better. Even for the long faces, you know, if your face is very long, your hair should be, should be little longer at least, not like the short uh, here like that, here in this picture. But the square faces, you know, you, you should have some hair on your sides, rather than, you know, prominent uh, square jaws shouldn't be visible actually. So these are the small, small things, but it matters a lot for your appearance actually. If you know these subjects, then you can manage yourself in a better way. You know, for the people who has got the heart shaped faces, they should not, you know, this, uh, <coughs> hide their face with these ears and other uh, uh, dresses or attires. That they should allow their face to expose more. And diamond face shape, as I say, is rarely seen in the people. So it's better to show your faces like this in this picture, not to hide your face to the ear. That, that would look not better actually. You know, so people who are looking beautiful or handsome, it is not by accident, actually. It is by, you know, this, uh, their knowledge and expertise on the subjects that's called anthropometry and cosmetology. So, and you know, the, your face is always visible. Maybe you are uh, maintaining your hands and feet, but that's not always visible in other parts of the body. But your face is everywhere it is visible, so why not, you know, do something for your face so that it looks best isn't it so you find this video is interesting for you you can subscribe this video you can give your comments you can also get in touch with me in facebook and linkedin thank you very much for watching